was not good. Oh, did stream go down? That was weird. Maybe some sort of temporary blip. Twitch just crashed on you? Yeah, that was weird, because I, I think maybe our internet dropped for like half a second. If I'm back now, then good. Because, um... Reset uptime and everything? It doesn't look like that on my Streamlabs. But yeah, my view count is just gone now. Um, but yeah, I think, um... When I was looking on the wiki for Elden Ring, like, it wouldn't let me go to a specific page. And it said, like, it, w it was giving me a connection error. So... That's weird. Twitch just being strange tonight. Let me look it up on here instead, in case it's causing issues on my PC. Yeah, tell everybody to refresh. That's awesome. Thank you. Um... Ghost glove warts. Can be found at the water's edge near the Shifra River Well Depths site of Grace. Really? There's one, like, right here somewhere? Oh. This is my problem with these, right? Is a lot of the time I think they're Trina's lilies, and so I just never get them. It says I've been streaming for zero time. Yeah, well, that, that'll... Hopefully improve. Okay, so we got one of those... Next, found next to the staircase leading to Hallowhorn Grounds. Yeah, the only other thing that could be is if, um... My Ethernet cables are rubbish and the little plastic clip part of it that, uh... makes sure it stays connected to the back of PC has broken. And so, on occasion, it could have, like, slipped out. But I don't think that should be the case. That's the horn bow. We don't need any other bows. It said this one was next to the staircase that leads to Hallowhorn Grounds, but it's not that. Oh, it's here. Considerable amount of my streamers have had some kind of stream issues in the last couple of weeks. I think there's just something in the air. Found in the middle of a tall ruined wall next to the lower hallowed grounds. Oh, this. I remember this one. Spirit of Spring one. This one. How many weapons in total? Um, as of before the DLC, there are 308. We're on playthrough number three. If I did one playthrough every week, this would take me six years. I'm not expecting to get through all of them, but I just want to play the game a little differently. Um, found at the top of the main waterfall in northern Shifra River. Directly east of the upper hello. Okay, yeah, so this is going to be, like, the stuff that's on top of the... Um, the area where Dragonkin Soldier is. Yeah, six years is a long time to be playing a video game. Then again, I've been playing Minecraft for ten this year, so... Stranger things have happened, you know? 
And in the meantime, honestly, I'm just enjoying playing Elden Ring. So regardless of how far we get, how well we do, I'll just be happy we got this far. Can't believe you left for two and a half hours and I'm still here. Well, this is what happens when we stream uh, these kind of double duty things where I'm doing a bit of Elden Ring and a bit of Minecraft all in the same day. You could skip some weapons if they were similar. What I plan on doing is combining playthroughs where the two weapons make sense together if they're like next to each other in the list. Like, for example, um, when you get down into some of the weapons that are named after different factions in the game. There's the Carrion Glintblade Staff and the Carrion Greatsword or whatever that are next to each other. I'm thinking we combine those and we just do a Carrion Knight playthrough. That's kind of the uh, the vibe, I think. So this one, it said something about being at the base of a waterfall. Or the top of a waterfall, I forget which. This one, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, we have four and five. Now we need six. Wyndham Catacombs, or is the Hero's Grave? Deep Root Depths. Bull Palace Ruins. Subterranean Shunning Grounds. Ugh, what's the most convenient for us? Well, that's just I think the most convenient for us right now is just to go back to the round table hold and see if we can upgrade Latena a little bit. Night Day Ash, thank you for the 10 months of Prime. Welcome back. Let's at least get spirit tuning figured out. Skip through this, talk to Rodrika. Cool. That should unlock everything that he needs to talk to Rodrika. Going to do the Hailing Tree or just uh, get the bow go straight to the Fire Giant? Um, we'll see. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the Hailing Tree with a bow. <laughs> So, honestly, I think I'd probably get the get the bow and maybe come back and do a little bit of other stuff. Like fight a couple of the other legacy bosses just to kind of get familiar with the, the new bow. And then see where we go from there. Can't wait for a great bow run. The other thing to remember is that the bow does not have to be the only weapon I use. I've occasionally done bits and pieces of this bow only but that's just because it's helping the bow be the star of the playthrough a little bit okay we need ghost glove what we just need runes okay great so i can spend some of these these are not going to get me a ton of runes but they'll get me enough to start leveling things up Okay, and these are quite expensive. Is that enough or do we need a little bit more? Yeah, we can get to plus five. We can always warp to uh, Mogwin Palace and just shoot a couple of birds. I went just over. I think the arrows reach talisman has actually thrown me off with how straight the arrows fly.
that should be enough for plus five. And we'll see how things go from there. Again, Roderica's... Oh, not Roderica. Latena's probably not the best summon for this fight because she is very stationary, but... We'll see how we do. Before we go anywhere, I'm just going to quickly run to the bathroom. We won't be streaming for too much longer anyway, but... We'll see what we can manage. Be right back, folks. Hey folks, uh, we just spotted one of the miscreants in the garden, one of the foxes. And uh, my partner got a film camera recently to mess around with, like a Minolta with a zoom lens. And so I was seeing if uh, they wanted to get a picture of the fox, just to uh, test us some stuff out. The foxes are not our favourites lately because of uh, having dug up our growing mound, but... That has now been repaired somewhat, and uh, foxes are still kind of cute. We just want to figure out some sort of solution to keeping them away from our plants more permanently. Yeah, it's for the wanted poster. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, so of course the problem with this is we also need FP for summoning. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody in my chat was saying it was for the wanted poster. <laughs> it was looking at me, I didn't think so. Yeah. You're right, closing the door on the way out. Thank you. Right. Let's do it this way. Let's summon Latena by the door. Okay, now you're shooting at the people outside, which is lovely, my dear, but not what I wanted you to do. So Latena has our best interests at heart, but is not the brightest bunch. Oh, there we go. She has at least drawn aggro, which is what we wanted from her. Ow. 
But now she's already dead. So that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, I think she just doesn't have enough HP and she's a sitting target, which is a problem. The issue is with Twitch because their API seems to not be working for Nightbot right now. Oh dear. Have you tried a garlic spray? No, we haven't tried a great deal of stuff yet. There are various other things that we know we can try and there are also some pretty easy like remedies we can get from the garden center. There's like aroma pellets and stuff that they will try and stay away from. Alright, this time, let's try and station Latena over here, away from the people who are going to be shooting us through the doorway. Okay, she's just going to do it anyway, apparently. Jeez, that's an attack. Oh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, I've heard foxes are averse to just anything with a really strong smell. So like, um, garlic, peppermint oil. There's a few, a few things like that. So here's my other strat we could maybe employ here. Since a lot of the... The reason Latena is shooting stuff outside is because of these basically alarm dudes who are up here alerting everybody to my presence. And without them, all of these ghostly figures don't get summoned, so maybe Latena can, like, start attacking immediately. It's evident that she's just going to get ganged up on. But we'll see how we do. We'll see what we can do. Oh, okay. We got hit. So this uh, jump to the castle tower thing is starting to feel all the more inviting at this stage. I'm enjoying the strategy of take out the uh, Albanorix first, though. So maybe we can do that. Full-on Boromir. Yep, yeah, a little bit. Okay. You can also activate that elevator, but it's easy enough getting back up here. So now... We'll go on through, summon Latena by the doorway, rain of arrows this guy, and honestly that went worse I think.
<laughs> if there's two of them, it's absolutely dreadful. One of them I might be able to manage, because the other guy doesn't do much except walk around until you take out these two guys. All right. So here is the other option. Is we figure out how on earth somebody did this. Bong. Because I think you have to get up there. Yes, it's the 9 o'clock news. A man had his butt kicked today in Elden Ring. More at 11. Ignore these guys. They're not really doing a whole lot. They make a heck of a lot of noise, but... So does everything else in this game. So I think the way this is supposed to work is that you can kind of parkour to an area where you can see the arena. Or you can target the guy from here and shoot him with rot arrows. <laughs> we'll see whether I can actually reach him from here. Not quite. How high up do I have to shoot? Honestly, not bad. That looked like it fell down right in front of him. I have no idea what we have to do to hit him. One sec, one sec. Just gonna pull this up on my phone. Okay, he's going to about here. Oh, wait, no, he's going around the side of the castle. Oh, weird. Okay. No, it's it's a different thing. Okay, you can like shoot through a section of the wall as well. There's like so many wacky ways of doing this. 
I felt certain there was one that involved jumping to like one of the towers of the castle. Jumping required ahead. See, like, there's a thing here. How many blood stains are around here? That's my next question. Okay. Didn't seem possible, that one. That one was not not too possible. <laughs> How's stream going? It's going relatively well, despite appearances. We are on our way to... the last area of the game that I need to get to. The thing is, I know how to beat this guy, but I'm not going to do it with the build I currently have, because it's all all bow all the time. And I don't have the greatest setup to help with the fight, so like, we could obviously completely change the build that I'm working with use a different weapon but that would involve going and getting a lot of other materials and stuff and I'm trying to see if there's a way we can do this in the meantime pretty sure I've seen the trick with jumping onto a tree that's what I'm talking about is that I've heard of that I've seen that or at least I've seen it mentioned at some stage but I don't know how it is done like I don't know which tree or exactly like where And yeah, it seems like there might be a... There might be a way to land on top of that tower, but... I don't know if it's going to let us. It seems like the fall is too big. Also get really annoyed respawning here over and over again. <laughs> Is this to skip Nile to get the medallion half? Um, it's more about finding a spot that I can cheese Nile from with arrows. And there's a, uh, a ledge up there that says try arrows and try Scarlet Rot and stuff, but I can't quite find what angle I need to do to hit him. I've got the arrows reach talisman, so I'm fairly certain my arrows will hit him. It's just what angle I need to shoot at in order to have them connect. It seems doable. That's the problem, though, is that it seems doable. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure that there's a grace up here I can grab, so I don't have to keep doing this trip every single time. There it is. Let's just rest at this one instead, yeah? Hmm. So we have no runes, so it doesn't really matter all that much. It says jumping required ahead. We could give jumping to the tower another try. But I see stuff all the way around here that says try scarlet rots, didn't expect bloodstains, jumping off, and then tree required. So like, that tree there, <laughs> maybe? Because that one seems to be the only one that's like... Yeah, that's th that's the only one that's tall enough that's going to get us to the castle from there. This is 
It's going to be such a useful trick later if we know how to do it, though, because there are going to be other bow playthroughs. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get this. Yeah, no idea. That tree that appears in midair. Yeah, I'm looking for the videos of it. A lot of the videos seem to involve jumping off a cliff and then doing this continuous attack that unloads the area and that like automatically kills the boss. But then this says try jumping off and then tree required ahead. I'm like... I can only assume that it's that tree in the center because that's the one that's going to give you enough height to get onto the castle walls. That definitely falls in front of the door. That definitely falls in front of him. I just don't know what the angle is that's going to hit him. I think at that point that's going over. I can't see the arrow land. So I don't know whether it makes an impact on him or not. If I apply fire arrows to this, I might at least see them at a distance. But then it, it goes out of, like, render distance. It's so, anno it's so annoying. That looks like it almost might have hit him. Cannot tell. There's like a second ghostly tree above it, but I'm also like, I don't think any of this has a hitbox. You have to land with such, like, pixel-perfect accuracy that I'm like, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> that was close, but also incredibly far at the same time. Like, you got to line yourself up with that and not miss. I don't know how I do that. Well, that's not going to work. <laughs> Felt like you needed some encouragement. Well, thank you. Only methods of cheese you could find for Niall is making him fall out of the world? Yeah.
Yep, no way. <laughs> I think we honestly might have a better chance if we actually go in and fight him. <laughs> How did this work on previous playthroughs? Uh, I have not tried this before. Uh, on previous playthroughs I had different weapons and I beat the guy. I think this time around, maybe we try with poison to start with. Or we could try Scarlet Rots. I'm a little bit loath to use these arrows, but I need to look out what the, the right like farming spot for them is. I need to take out you. What are we trying to do? Um, so there's a cheese for this boss, who is the one who is effectively guarding the item that I need to get to the area of the game where I will acquire the bow I want for this playthrough. And uh, he's a difficult boss, so people have cheesed him from a distance before. But I've never really been able to do that, and I don't know how they do it. My problem is I have terrible poise. And these guys do a lot of damage. And then there's three of them. And then I get stuck on a wall like this and I can't roll out of their hitboxes. These freaking guys. And then they corner you, yeah. So I think... I think we start with fire arrows. Because I have a plentiful supply of those. We switch to Scarlet Rot arrows if we manage to get it down to just Nile. And once it's just Nile, I can dodge his attacks. Because I'm fairly certain I know how the fight goes. Oh, I forgot about this part. Well, actually, it doesn't matter because I'm not summoning this time. So Lieutenant isn't even going to be worried about the guys outside the walls. Because she's not going to be part of the fight. Probably shouldn't be wasting these arrows too much, considering... My goal is get rid of these guys first before I even have to worry about the other guy. Okay, okay. That guy's dead. Okay, we've we've started. We've the fight has actually begun. Problem is, Nile gets more aggressive once you off one of them. The game doesn't like putting you up against like three enemies at a time, but two is apparently fine. This guy's a little easier to cheese because he's just running at me. I don't like getting stuck in this corner, though. No. No. Dang it. Okay, at least we know it's doable. <laughs> I haven't tried bewitching the ghost. I don't know if I have any bewitching branches. I'm pretty sure you can buy them from a merchant somewhere, but... That would definitely be an option. Where can you get them from again? 
Who who has those? Is it the guy in Shifra River? Thank you, Sneaky Badger. I appreciate that. Because I know that's a strat you can use. I just haven't ever done it. Near a church in Altus. Merchant near Bellum Church. Okay, so it's not in Altus, but in Leonia. Okay, interesting. Well, if this fight doesn't go well for us this time... I've still got so many arrows, but we can try it. I also don't know how the Bewitching Branch works. Okay, cool. We're getting there. This guy didn't come and... shove himself in my face. Okay, now I'm crouched for no reason because I'm gripping the controller too hard. <laughs> okay, this guy also gets stunned by headshots a lot easier, which is great. Okay, now we put down Latena, and now we absolutely cheese this guy with Scarlet Rods. Okay, did not expect that to hit. Okie doke. Seen that attack a lot, huh? This is how he attacks you when at range, I guess.
Okay. He's just doing this over and over again, which is fine by me as long as I know how the attacks go. I know I feel bad for Latena. But she did what she needed to do. The extra stamina regen on this flask is really helping, actually. Just means I get enough back to roll and shoot. Every so often, the rhythm of this attack and where I land after the roll catches me off guard. Oh, don't jitter on me now. One more. Yes. Oh, okay, turns out getting good is always the answer. Turns out if you are good at the video game, you will win the video game. We're going to the Halo Tree. She wanted it. She wanted it badly enough. We didn't need the cheese. We just had to believe in Jessica Albanoric. Sneaky Badger, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate that. Love getting subs for victories. That went well. That honestly, like, we had a plan, we executed the plan. Running away, keeping them at range, getting headshots on the knights, dealing with them one at a time. That's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. Hello, Halig Tree Medallion. Okay, now... We go back to the lift. Did an amazing job of that. Thank you, thank you. The uh, the bow only run is real. <laughs> the bow only run is absolutely about patience. Now the real fun begins because now we can go to the Halig Tree, or at least we can go to the consecrated snowfield. Oh, hoisted the wrong medallion. I think there. Yep, wrong one. Medallion again. Quick mulligan, do over. Secret medallion. That's the one. So here we are, Princes of the Universe. In the hidden path of the Halic Tree. <laughs> Bonely run, yes. All right. Just going to run through this segment. Ignore the octopus that falls from the ceiling. Didn't even see it that time. The octopi are slacking today. We get this grace just in case. 
Rhyming, rhyming, rhyming. Consecrated Snowfield. Begin! And now we follow the lights. It is I, Latena. Hello again, Latena. The ancient bow wows. All right. So once we're able to, we're going to open the map. Mark this and ride for that. Oh god, the carriage. I don't even know what's in this one. I don't think I ever bothered fighting those guys. Hey look, animals. So there is a grace somewhere around here. We're going to get the grace at Ordina, I think. Although I don't plan on doing the Everjail at Ordina. There are some Albanoric archers in there, so those can drop it. But those wolf back riders over there are the ones we want because they are the archers who have the potential to drop the Albanoric bow. And there's a couple around here as well. But they are actually really annoying to fight. Both because they are very powerful archers and they have a couple of attacks that fire like three arrows at once. Which we're not going to get <laughs> for having the Albanoric bow. By the way, the Albanoric bow is not a particularly special bow. Because no bows in Elden Ring are special. But we're going to do our best to fight these archers. And acquire the bow. From what I've heard, some people have said that using a spear... And using the spinning strikes Ash of War is a good idea. Guardian Sword Spear has spinning slash, but it's not the same thing. I don't know if I have the spinning strikes Ash of War for one thing. I have wild strikes, that's not the same thing. Just hurt the bow's feelings? We'll see. But there's an archer over here on the cliff. And this wolf is going to warn them of my approach. And they've got so much health. Plus all of their friends are going to be assisting them. And I didn't have the right <laughs> equipment equipped. <laughs> I thought I was... Uh, two-handing my sword, and I was not, and so I didn't get to do unsheath. Anyway. Let's maybe two-hand the sword for the moment. And see what else we can manage here. Because there is another Albanoric Archer over here. If we get an easy crit. That's not going to be an easy crit. Also, gosh, my health. <laughs> I wonder if we can cheese them from a distance with Rain of Arrows. Especially considering they don't move much. Is it raining? I think it's raining. I didn't get my uh, my runes, so... I don't need to worry too much about that. Again, runes are easy enough to farm that I'm not really worried about it. So 
if we do something like this... They do find out where I am pretty quickly, it turns out. We're just, like, sniper dueling. That's certainly an option. Take out the wolves. They're actually worth a fair amount of XP on their own. I also need more FP if I'm going to be doing unsheath. Okay, the grey wolves aren't as tough as the white ones. No runes from that. Where are you? Ah! Uh. You! Okay, so we need some farming strats. We need to be able to take these things out at range. Things. People. Albanoric archers. We need to fight them at range. And Rain of Arrows is not going to do it for us. Unfortunately. Unnecessary. Unless we're using Scarlet Rot or Poison and we just let it take its toll. But even then we're not even guaranteed to hit them with the right effect. That looked like my sword hit landed, but actually the wolf got me. <laughs> Now I'm stuck on the scenery. There we go. Genuinely not sure how easy it's going to be to take out these archers with the setup I have. Without any, like, fully... Fully upgraded weapons without a decent melee weapon. <laughs> this wolf just, like, casually walking back and forth evading my arrows. There we go. Problem is, all three of them now know I'm here. I don't know if there's a point I can hit where I know where they are, they can't hit me, and I can just get Rain of Arrows. That's 
And then, of course, I need the FP for that. Fortunately, they are stationary enemies, so this part is relatively uncomplicated. The whole thing is, are they going to drop anything? And if they are, is it the bow I want? Of course, over here, there's two of them. She's down there. <laughs> I can't believe I'm already down to one heal flask left. Just trying to fight these three women. She dropped an item. What could it be? Could it be our next weapon? Could it be the weapon I've been searching for this entire time? The bow that bears my name? A blood clot. <laughs> Love that for us. <laughs> really, really great stuff. Also, this lady didn't drop anything, so we are going to be uh, farming these for a while, I guess. <laughs> What's up, Brandy Cap? I'm glad you like the Minecraft Survival Guide. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Right. Back to the grace. Saw the start got hyped. <laughs> I think the real problem is the wolves. Are these just do magic damage? Yeah, okay. Trying to get it caught in the corner there, so it forces it to follow me. Okay, cool. Took you out nice and easy. <laughs> Look at all of the arrows. That's just that one archer on the hill over there trying to hit me. Okay, well, we ruined that nice and quickly, didn't we? Okay, that one went down nice and easy. And now you. Okay, good. Now we just got to trade shots with this lot again. Oh, she fell off the cliff. I 
I can't believe after all of the attempts that we have made for this. They have a possibility of dropping just like some blood. <laughs> And she didn't drop anything, it looks like. Oh god, there's another one. And this one's on a, on a wolf. Time to go. I'll be backing off until you do. Hi, you seem like the worst. Yeah, that's the uh, the three arrow attack they get that you don't get. Although it may just be that they're using barrage. Which is an attack you can do. But I don't think you can do it with this bow. Now this is absolutely thrilling, but it's not really helping me farm the, the bow at all. <laughs> We took out the wolf. Now we take out you. Okay. Now we go for the other two. The problem with this is that we can take them down pretty easily with the sword, but we've got to get up close to them. And getting up close to them is difficult because they shoot me with arrows at close range. Incredibly damaging. Where are they? They're down here. I might be able to get a crit on one of them, but then the other one is going to turn around and immediately shoot me. Nope, they knew where I was. They knew where I was immediately. Okay, okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> There's no way, dude. Yeah, I think we'll probably wrap things up there. I'm going to spend a bit of time off camera trying to get hold of this bow. And while we, mo we won't necessarily be able to capture the final moment of acquiring the bow on stream, next stream we're gonna we're gonna do our best to make it worthwhile. <laughs> Maybe just one more attempt. I think one more will do it for us.
Fortunately, this wolf is poisoned already because it's not going to get shot with anything, is it? The problem is the targeting system in this game does not automatically lead the shot for you. And it's kind of not possible to force it to. And I can't shoot over something even if I can see over something. At this point, Rain of Arrows is somehow more accurate because it fires a cluster of arrows. See? If, if you could just do that... <laughs> it might actually be easier. Farming them is going to be tough? Yeah. I'm at least going to get myself in this alcove here, and that way the ones on the right can't get me, and I can focus on getting the one over here. Not really possible to tell if I'm hitting her until I'm hitting her, right? Oh, well, now she's hitting me. <laughs> this wolf, I swear, king of dodges. I should be learning from this wolf, I think. Well, that's just prime. Can't even target her now. The sound of the boots is my heartbeat. Rock solid. She dropped an item. It doesn't look like it's a weapon, but we can give it a try. Oh, we got a skirt. We have some equipment at least. That feels like an improvement somehow. Yeah, Samurai Lady. <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. Hey, we got a skirt. That's a new thing we got. I'm going to get some soup after this chat. It's going to be so good. Okay, so I need to develop farming strategies between now and the next stream. Because I really want to be able to do it on camera. Like, I want to be able to get this bow with you guys here so that we can celebrate together. I don't want to be like, and I got the bow. I feel like I've done that with a couple of other things, like leveling up and whatnot, I do that with. And I don't want to do that with everything.
This wolf has taken so many arrows, it's unbelievable. That one actually went through its legs. This thing's hitboxes are so precise that you cannot hit it in the legs if the legs are moving. It's hilarious to me that if I do Reign of Arrows and the target moves, the arrows come down where the target was. But then if I do Reign of Arrows and midway through the attack, after the arrow has been loosed, I lose targeting on whatever it was I was shooting at. the arrows fall down around me. It's like each time it rounds down and it's never in the player's favor that it does that. These wolves are related to Blythe and Malaketh. I mean, probably. They're all very, very lupine. Okay, I don't think she dropped an item that time. So now it's round the corner for the other two. Oh wait, no, there is an item. Arrows. Thanks. Never seen them before. Maybe I can use this little ridge as cover. Here's a strat. As long as I still have stamina and can jump. In before they learn to curve arrows. Yes, the camera is always the, uh, the other boss of Dark Souls games. How's the wait for the DLC going? It's going pretty well. Okay, she dropped an arrow. But she dropped an item. Another blood clot. Well, at least we know we killed her. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> one more time we wrap up the stream. Could have been another skirt. It could have been. Could well have been. I still have, like, hundreds of arrows. So... Doing this dance again, are we? Oh god, the one on the wolf has noticed an arrow I fired.
Do not want Senpai Wolf Rider to notice me. There we go. One wolf down. Alright, fine. Next. Wolf dodges. Moonwalking wolf. Oh gosh. It is absurd to me that I can't even target them from that far away and they're still able to snipe me. Where even are you on this cliff? There we go. We got a hit. Did that get us an automatic hit because she was underneath something? When I did Rain of Arrows just now. Ow. Okay, that one's dropped an item. We curve around. We get behind the... Uh barrier that we had. We do that again. More arrows. Okay. Yeah, I got the heavy core today. I had some good luck today. I think we can have good luck with this too. Gosh, I need to wait for my stamina to recover. <laughs> Once again, I find myself with one healing flask left. Resume. All right. Did you have anything? Nope. Did you have anything? Nope. But hey, at least we have a... I wouldn't say reliable, but a... survivable method of farming them. The donkey from Shrek pick me strat? Yeah. Yeah, and I'll, I'll do my best to figure out a 
more effective way of farming them in between this and the next stream. And we will have our bow, my friends, on the next stream. We will have it. We are literally right here. I'm going to take a screenshot of this because it looks cool. There we go. We'll use that when we go not go live with the next stream. Until the next time, my friends, thank you for hanging out today. Jessica Albanoric is so close to having her bow. At which point we might actually be able to take that all the way to the end of the game because we have just the mountain tops and then Faramazula and then the capital and then we have to beat all of those enemies with bows. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll be back streaming possibly tomorrow, definitely on Thursday. And uh, yeah, we will have DLC potentially on Thursday. So I don't know if we'll be playing the DLC, but we'll definitely be streaming Elden Ring. Until then, have yourselves a good one. Uh, I will probably raid somebody. And then I'm off to watch uh, Ollie and Jimmy's VODs from today because I think that's going to be really funny. Who's out here streaming stuff? <laughs> I don't want to make a habit of uh, raiding Bruno every time we finish one of these streams. We're going to raid Apothic Decay today. Uh, word of warning about Apothic. Not necessarily uh, an adult language free stream. In fact, almost certainly adult language and adult conversation stream. But it looks like they're playing some Stardew Valley, so. Uh, also playing Stardew from the van. Apothic is a, uh, a traveling streamer who streams from their van. Which is always a fun environment. So uh, yeah, go say hi. And uh, use your pixel hype emotes in the hashtag pixel raid. If you got the emotes. And I'll be back uh, real soon to play more of this and more Minecraft. So have yourselves a good one. See you soon. Bye for now.